ang buksan, ang isipan. Sa science o agham, tayo na sa sinisbola. Buksan natin ang siyensya, buksan ang pag-iisip. Tayo'y likas na scientist, tayo na sa sinisbola. I'm Priscilla Catolico, I'm a medtech intern, and for today's video, I'll be showing you the spill drill outside the biosafety cabinet and the proper base segregation. Step 1. Alert everyone in the area. Step 2. Doff PPE. Step 3. Leave the lab area for at least 30 minutes. Step 4. Inform the lab manager and biosafety officer. Step 5. Place a sign on the door indicating that there is a spill. Step 6. Don't PPE and re-enter the area with your spill kit and always go in pairs. Step 7. Place absorbent material on the spill and cover the whole area. Step 8. Pour appropriate disinfectant concentrically. Step 9. Observe appropriate contact time. Step 10. Pick up using tongs and paste inside a biohazard bag. Step 11. If there are sharps, pick up using tongs and place in the sharps container. Step 12. Perform another round of cleaning until the whole area has been cleaned and dried. Step 13. Doff use PPE and put discard bag into another discard bag. Step 14. Put reusable materials in different bag. Step 15. Decontaminate waste in autoclave. Step 16. Remove the signage. Step 17. Prepare a report. Next topic, proper waste segregation. Segregation is the key to any effective waste management. No effective segregation system is equal to a hazardous waste stream. Points to consider are the hazard level, the waste type, container type and size, and color coding. Black requires trash bin or plastic bags for non-infectious dry waste. Green requires trash bin or plastic bag for non-infectious wet waste. Yellow requires plastic bag double bagging for infectious pathologic waste. Red requires puncture proof container for sharps, while orange requires containers for radioactive waste. 